Hey everybody, my name is not Jimothy, and a couple of days ago I finally got a surgery scheduled to remove the polynidal cyst. Initially I was supposed to get the surgery a while ago, but uh, when I went in I was in a lot of pain, and unfortunately it got infected and became an abscess. But now after one week on antibiotics, I am ready to get the surgery come Friday, and I am very nervous. However, I'm not as nervous as I was back in September. Back in September, I set out to find a surgeon who could remove what I didn't know at the time was a polynidal cyst. I thought it was just a plain old cyst that needed to be excised, but no, it had a sinus and everything. Anyways, this is the story of the many different doctors I went through trying to find somebody who had experience with excising polynidal cysts. Firstly, I went to the urgent care center in a local hospital and the doctors there did not know what a polynidal cyst was, so they just told me to take some antibiotics and uh, come back next week and they'll have it removed. I thought that was great, so I took the antibiotics. They prescribed sulfa, so I took the sulfa for a week, and they had really weird effects, uh, as I would not be able to sleep at night. I would like have very, very high energy, and uh, I just felt sick in my stomach. But I pressed on and kept taking them because it was only one week and I really wanted to have this cyst out of me. So after the week on antibiotics, I returned to the urgent care center and they still didn't know what exactly to do. So they had me sign up to get a primary care doctor and put me on more sulfa and told me that the doctor will be available in about two weeks. So I get home and I start taking the sulfa again and they must have upped the dosage because I could not sleep the entire night. My heart was racing, my eyes were glassed over, and I was shaking really bad. So I stopped taking the sulfa and just waited for my appointment. Well, now fast forward two weeks, I finally am able to go into the doctor's office, and they do the standard checkup thing where they check your heart rate and look at your eyes, mouth, and ears. Finally, after about six minutes of that, he takes about 30 seconds of looking at the cyst and says, you know, I don't really deal with that. Then he schedules an appointment for me at the surgery center to get it excised or whatever needs to be done. Still, at this point, I don't know what I have. Neither does he. And I'm hoping that the surgery center will actually be able to do something. The real pisser is that that checkup cost $350. Thankfully, I only had to wait a week until I could get into the surgery center. But that was far from the end of my problems. So the surgeon looks at the cyst for about 20 seconds and he says, you have a polynidal cyst. Then he takes about another minute or two and explains to me what exactly it is. And he comes up with his plan of action, which is to do a cleft lift surgery. For those of you who don't know that is, that's the surgery you get if nothing else is working. That is the worst case scenario of surgery. People only get that. If they've tried everything else and nothing is going away and the cyst keeps reoccurring, that's what he turns to. And the procedure itself is horrible. On top of that, he showed me Google Images of exactly what he's going to do. Don't ever do that to your patients. Google Images is the worst thing you could do. It's the worst thing you could look at. He basically tells me he's going to cut a line from the base of my spine down to about an inch above my anus. That's as, that's as far as he's going to cut, all the way down the middle. He tells me this is the only way you can get rid of polynidal cysts. There are no other ways to get rid of them. This is the only way. Needless to say, I fell silent. <laughs> I went from just having a little bump on my tailbone to I'm going to get major surgery. All in all, the surgeon spent about five minutes with me, and then immediately after, the anesthesiologist comes in, and tells me that I have an opening in two days. So two days from then, I'm supposed to have this cleft lift procedure. He tells me what I need to do the night before and gives me the whole nine yards. And I am silent the entire time. And then I drive home in silence. And I sit in my living room and just am thinking about how crazy everything's gotten. And I just needed a breather. Long story short, I call up the surgeon and I call off the surgery. That's not something I wanted to do. I need a second opinion. So three weeks later, I'm in a dermatologist's office, and he confirms that yes, it is a polynidal cyst, and he knows somebody who can handle this problem. And finally, I arrive at the right surgeon, and he confirms with me that 
getting that cleft lip procedure was not what you wanted to have done at all. And he actually goes on to ask me who exactly the surgeon was who, who was going to perform this and where did he work and that sort of thing. Because he said that is just so out of left field. That is the last thing you'd want to do. He explains to me that he's done this procedure several times. Three of his friends actually had polynidal cysts and they are now cured from it, from his surgery. And his even his wife had gotten the surgery that I'm scheduled to get Friday and that is gone for her. So he is very confident in his results, and he is very knowledgeable about the disease, as they call it. And that's the end of my boring story. If you can take anything from that, I guess the moral would be don't be afraid to get a second opinion. If I hadn't, I'd probably still be recovering from the cleft lift procedure. Did I mention that the doctor who's going to perform the cleft lift procedure was fresh out of college? That was another thing. He was fresh out of college, he was very young. Typically, I don't judge people's experience based on their age, but if you're planning to cut me open, I'm going to take into consideration your age. Well, I hope this video did something for you, and I'm sorry if you're going through the same thing I am. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be after I have the surgery.